Welcome to DashboardSymbols.com. Here we will replace the dead battery in a Subaru key fob with a fresh one. It is the newest style key fob from Subaru, first in use in 2015. We will need the help of a small and a mid-sized screwdriver, some electrical tape, and a new CR2032 battery. First, we'll need to remove the mechanical key. Look for this small button on the back of the fob. It looks for all the world like it will slide to the side, but it will not. It's a push button that's rather difficult for larger fingers or thumbs. Pull the key ring end and we have the key. Now we'll want to pop the back off the fob and we'll go right back to the space that had been used by the key. It will take a fairly good sized screwdriver and Subaru recommends taping it with vinyl tape so as not to damage the case. We followed that instruction, then inserted the tip of the screwdriver into the gap and twisted to separate the case. The battery is now visible with its markings up. It rests in the fob circuit board which is easily pulled away. Do this. It will make removing the battery far easier. The tip of the smaller screwdriver gets beneath it easily. Slip the new battery in with its markings up, starting at the back of its space. Don't forget to peel the backing off the new battery if there is one. We are using a lens cleaning cloth to keep skin oils off the battery, but be careful, it can be quite slippery in the cloth. If you make a final move with a finger, wipe it down once again. The back of the fob snaps back on easily. Then return the mechanical key. Test the locks, then you'll be ready to go. Did this help get the job done for you? If so, let us know with a comment. And for help with other push button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube subscribe to this channel, or go to dashboardsymbols.com.